Hey everybody, it's Mark again, and um, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I want to talk about cuckoo clocks and um, what happens when the environment of the cuckoo clock is different than normal environment. If you have animals, because of their design, the hair from your animals, if your animals shed a lot, will get inside the clock because of their design. Because the chains come down, the, uh, sorry, the weights come down, the chains go up, and when you um, pull on the weights, um, more than likely hair and crap will get inside the case. So... If you have your clocks in a kitchen or if you have a wood stove, then because of the environment, the clock will need service more than uh, somebody who has central heat and air. If you smoke, because your the smoke, your clocks will need service more than somebody who doesn't smoke. If your house isn't spick and span, then your clocks will need serviced more than somebody else's clocks who goes around and dusts everything. Well, in my case, I smoke here in this bedroom all the time. And that is one of the main reasons why my clocks aren't up and running. Because I have to uh, service them. And the fact that I had this pet raccoon and I love climbing on the chains. and So anyway, I have a uh, Oompa One Day Cuckoo Clock that I'm going to work on today. And the only thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the movement out. I'm going to take the movement apart. I'm going to clean it, oil it, and put it back together. Uh, the clock's been running fine for the past three years or so. But because I smoke, it needs service. But before we get into that, please subscribe to all the YouTube channels that I mention. I'm going to leave a link. In this section of this video, that way um, it doesn't deter from me showing you the clock and what I'm doing. Uh, the people that I mention, you know, it takes a lot of time and effort to make these videos. And we don't have to do it. We're giving you free information. So... Please take the time to subscribe to all the channels that I mentioned. Even though you're watching this video, please take the time and subscribe to all the channels. Torsendale, Derek, the man is 70 years old. He repairs torsion slash anniversary clocks. They're called torsion clocks. Originally, they were developed by an American... Um, um, the Germans perfected them. Uh, an American, Charles Twilliger, wrote a book that everybody who works on these things gets a hold of. But uh, the reason why Americans call them anniversary clocks is because back in the early 1900s, there was, a, there was some person that did advertising and because you wind them, because they're 400-day clocks for the most part, there, there are some Japanese ones that are 200 or 250 days or 100 days. And then there's a 1,000-day clock. But because they're 400-day clocks, um, for the most part, you just wind them once a year. And so they came up with this big advertising scheme as to where... Uh, uh, they call it an anniversary clock because you wind it on your anniversary or your birthday or whatever. Torsendale recommends every time you do a time change where you have to change the hours anyway to go ahead and wind up the clocks. 
which is a really great idea. The man is talented. He repairs these clocks for a living, and he is given away free advice. Uh, I, I'm only going to mention a few. Just Mike, um, Michael Anderson. The man is really good at repairing clocks. He'll repair clocks that I do not get involved in. I don't want to get involved in um, uh, electrical clocks, for example. If I, and I don't repair electrical clocks, all right? Because if I did, and my house got fire, or if I, if I showed you how to repair an electrical clock, and your house catches fire, you're going to blame that on me for something that you did wrong. Um, so I don't, I don't want to get involved in showing people how to repair electrical clocks, uh, and the fact that I don't know that much about them. Uh, uh, but he's very good at repairing clocks, all kinds of clocks. Cheryl Adair, Adair's Repairs. The lady has been repairing clocks for a year. And I said this before, and I'll say it again and again and again. If she would have started repairing clocks 25 years ago when I did, she would have surpassed me in knowledge in repairing clocks 20 plus years ago she uh she is really talented um clocks with seth seth lingenfelter the man is very talented he has professional videos that he does um he is more into the history of clocks where he doesn't show you a lot of repairing clocks but his videos are a lot more professional than my videos and so um I, I, I subscribe to his channel um matthew reed uh, both uh torsendale and matthew reed live over the united kingdom and uh but matthew reed uh did a um live video back during COVID uh, because of his chapter group. He still has a couple YouTube channels, how to repair pendulum clocks and reads repairs. And the man and him and Torsten Dell will make parts on the lathe. I wish I had their talent. Uh, uh, the only way you're going to learn stuff, and that's why I say it, to subscribe to their channels, even if you don't have their type of clocks, because I guarantee you, you will learn things from them. And so uh, that's, you know, I learn stuff all the time from watching their videos. And I learned that I wish that I, that the military would have uh, put me in a um, machine shop versus munitions because I was a really good machinist back in high school. But anyway, um, I don't want to mention all the channels, but please take the time to subscribe to everybody's channels. They, uh, they, they put a lot of work and effort into these things. And so um, let's get started. This is the clock. It's a musical Oompa Band player. One day, cuckoo clock, uh, you can see how dirty it is. And, you know, if you, I've got spiders and stuff around my house and because of my health issues, and mainly because I guess I'm lazy. I don't go around cleaning my house as much as I should. Uh, regular 25 movement, it's A25-85. It's made in West Germany. It doesn't say who made it. Um, nice musical uh, box it's got the plastic wheel but everything works except for the clock stops and that's because it's dirty so i'm gonna go ahead and take it apart 
First thing you want to do when you take a clock apart is have a parts box and uh, take the hands off. And sometimes these hands can be a, a pain to take off. Um, especially on a clock where you don't want to damage it. Because it's got all these uh, uh, weird parts, oompa players and stuff. Mini hand off. Mini hand sits on this um, on this part right here. It's got a um, <clears throat> it's got a, a raised section on it. That, that way the minute hand is adjustable, and then the hour hand is press fit on and it comes right off. And you want to release the cuckoo bird. Bend in the wire 90 degrees, and then um, the cuckoo bird will go back in. This has got this lever here, which was original nighttime shutoff lever, but because it's a modern day clock, it has this lever right here, which is a nighttime shutoff lever. They both do the same thing. The next thing I want to do is uh, take the chains off but because the weights the, the it is all the way to the top i'm going to have to let it down some or loosen the screws to take the movement out and when i do that the chain will come down some i'm not going to have to take the bellows out um, but i do have to release the bellows from the high and low lift wire but I'm going to take the movement out off screen. I don't want to make this a long video. I've got videos and I've got a video where I discuss every part. It's called um, parts of a movement. And I discuss almost every part. And I tell you the function of that part. And I tell you what to do if it's not working properly. So, um... Anyway, I'm going to take this movement out, and we'll get back. I'm going to have to take the music box out, because the last screw to the movement, the music box is in the way. And so, if you're going to take the music box out, draw a line on the, on the side of the clock. That way, you can put the music box back in. You might have to do some slight adjustments but that will get you in the ballpark on this particular clock because it has oompa band members there's this bar right here it's got a, a slot fork slot in it and that's what this piece right here that comes off the movement goes in and rotates to um rotate the Oompa players back and forth. A lot better design than the Albert Swamp 8-day system that I have a video out on. Now this particular movement, like I said, is made in West Germany. Here's the, here's the pendulum. It's 28 point five centimeters that's telling you how long your pendulum is supposed to be and showing you in the cuckoo clock repair manual pendulum length on a regular movement is measured from the suspension post to the center of the leaf or bob sometimes when a cuckoo is brought in for repair it has a Anyway, it's measured from the post to the bob is how they get. Uh, one more thing I want to show you in this book. 
regular 25 one day two weight system that means it doesn't have music with a pendulum length of less than 28 centimeters uses 275 grams one day two weight with a pendulum length that's 28 centimeters or longer uses 420 grams then a one day three weight system all pendulum lengths uses 320 grams the the time and strike typically use 275 grams unless it has a, a longer pendulum all right um this clock came with 320 gram weights it has been using 320 gram weights and if you can get away with using lighter weights uh, that's what you need to use now this movement cannot come all the way apart as you can see the dancing platform it's riveted to the um, front plate of the movement so I'm not going to be able to take all this apart but anyway I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, take it apart put it in my ultrasonic cleaner put it back together and oil it and one more thing as you will see the escapement wheel the pivot it's swinging from side to side side to side this is a one day clock one day clocks are very lenient on pivot wear um once i clean this i'm gonna put a chain on it i'm you know with me using light pressure the thing is ticking away just fine uh, and i'm using light pressure i'm not using 320 gram weights but I'm going to go ahead and clean this and uh, uh, 2586, you see that? It shows synthetic oil. Um, there's an NAWCC posting that I read and I'm pretty sure that they s said that they started using synthetic oil in the early 90s. But this is 1986. This shows synthetic oil. Uh, this is the uh, second time I've seen a movement like this that I was paying attention to. Anyway, I'll get back to you. And I don't want to confuse people. I need to clarify. When you add the pendulum leader on... You know, this is from the top of the post. The pendulum bomb is at 11 inches. So, if your pendulum leader is too short or too long, if it's too short, your bomb will be down further. If it's too long, your bomb will be up higher, but um, but typically the pendulum leader sticks out of the bottom of the case, maybe an inch. And so, um, if you got it sticking out longer, your pendulum bomb will be up in this area when you got the clock in beat and it's running keeping fairly good time videos where i show you how to put a, a clock in beat a cuckoo clock in beat i tell you to stop the pendulum leader wire or put your finger in front so it touches the pendulum leader wire and if it stops I've already got this thing in beat, but let's say it stops on the left side of what I call the foot. That means you need to bend the virgin crutch assembly in the middle 
so that the foot goes to the left a little bit. And you keep doing that until when you grab a hold of it and you let go, grab a hold of it and you let go, grab a hold of it and let go, it continues to swing without the pendulum on. And then after you put the pendulum on, it should continue to to uh, tick. And that is in beat. I'm going to set this thing up in the other room um, so I can monitor it to make sure it stays in beat. And then I'll put it back in the case. Movement's been ticking away for over an hour now. So now it's time to put it back into the case. Before, it would only run for 15, 20 minutes. And that's why <clears throat> it needed cleaned. Sucks without taking the bellows out. And these bellows are stapled in. And that's why I didn't want to take them out. Is the wire that connects to the staple on the door. It breaks. So you have to replace it. So, uh... The easiest way is to take the bird out, but when you've got big German hands like I do, it's kind of hard to get your hands in there to do all that. But I finally got it. <coughs> I finally got it connected. And it works. Putting the thing back together, I did something wrong. I don't know if you could see it or not. But uh, I took the music box out. And when I put the music box back in, this brass lever is on top of this black lever. And that's wrong. This brass lever has to go underneath this black lever because that black lever is what pushes down on that brass lever. If this wire that stops the governor fan has got too much, if it's too close to the governor assembly, your clock is going to cuckoo all day long until the weight hits the bottom because that wire can't get away from the governor assembly. So make sure when you adjust it that... See, I had to force it to go away from the governor assembly. So if you see it, if, if you can see it, it's, it's too close to the governor assembly. This needs to be straightened out some. So uh, let me do that. Now when I trip it, it's cuckooing. The uh, wire is bouncing up and down, and then when it's done cuckooing, it clears the governor assembly to uh, allow it to spin. Like I said, if this wire has got too much friction on it, if it's too close to the governor assembly, it's going to cuckoo all day long. And because this has, because it's a one day cuckoo clock, because it has two tunes, it plays on both the hour and the half hour, and the weights will drop evenly. Most eight day cuckoo clocks that have two tunes only play the music on the hour, which I don't really understand. I think one tune should be for the hour and then the other tune should be for the half hour and you decide what you want but um there are some eight day cuckoo clocks that play music on both the hour and the half hour and the weights drop evenly um i think those cuckoo clocks have got a shorter tune um i'm not for sure 
And because I put the movement back into the clock, even though it was ticking just fine, I still have to do the same thing. Where I'm stopping the pendulum leader several times to make sure that it swings on its own. And when I'm happy that it's swinging on its own, I put the pendulum on. And I'm going to let it tick away for a while. Sounds good. It's in beat. Clock repair people will keep your clock for a week or maybe two weeks after they get it fixed. Because most clock repair people guarantee that the clock is going to work when you get it and you hang it on your wall. And so um, I'm only going to let this thing run for maybe an hour. And then if I'm happy, I'm going to hang it on my wall because uh, I'm not a, I'm not giving this to a customer. I'm putting it on my wall. So if it stops, I'll know I need to work it some more. This is where I'm going to hang it. As you can see, I got a plastic anchor and then a sheetrock screw that sticks out about three quarters of an inch or so. I talked about those plastic anchors in another video and there's not no stud in this area. There's a stud here and there's a stud here, but there's not a stud in there. So uh, you need to use something to secure your clocks or they're going to fall. And I bought this clock back in September of 2020. So four years hanging on my wall with no problems. Um, I'm, I'm okay with that. And I paid $77 for this clock off a of marketplace to include shipping. Is probably 50 bucks. Um, I didn't have to do anything to it. I don't remember. I think I just hung it on the wall. So um, I'm extremely happy with the, the years of use I got out of it before I had to clean it. Because I had a level on my test stand, it's level here, it's ticking away. The Oompa players move quite well. And believe it or not, this clock gets wound more than any other of my clocks because there's my bathroom door. And if you are my age, which I'm 27 again, you will understand that <clears throat> Guys, when they reach a certain age, they have to use the toilet. They got to pee more than than when they were younger. And so, uh, whenever I go use my bathroom, I wind that clock. Anyway, I hope y'all like this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Uh, I gotta stop it to. Uh, to catch up with the time because it's only a quarter to eight here but um and now i just got all these other clocks to uh clean this clock here which i bought about four years ago been running great and now it quits after an hour or so needs cleaned and so uh 
when you have as many clocks that I do, you would have to work on two or three clocks every day and get them running in order to uh, catch up. Don't be like me. Keep it manageable. May God bless each and every one of you. And don't forget to subscribe to all the channels that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. They're really good people. They do great videos. You'll learn a lot. So uh, take the time and sus subscribe to all of them. May God bless each and every one of you.